My name's Beverly Matheson, KJ6 RSX, and I'm the president of our, the club here at our school at Dorothy Grant Elementary School, K6 DGE. For the amateur radio, we have about 45 students. It's a mix of fourth and fifth graders, so I cut, divide them in half, and I have fourth graders who come on Tuesday afternoons till four o'clock, and then I have fifth graders who come on Thursday afternoons until four o'clock. Well, I got into ham radio because a couple of years ago, um, I, I knew David Collingham, and he is an, a, a ham radio operator who's big into DXing and goes on these trips. So I had asked him, um, since I knew he traveled to these wonderful locations, I thought what a great way to teach my kids geography and to teach them about different countries and where they're located. So I had asked him if he would take something from my classroom, such as a flag. And uh, so, and he said, sure. So we created a flag out of a pillowcase and we decided to put a positive message on it so that anybody who came in contact with our flag would, um, you know, in some way have their day uplifted. And that was really, you know, our whole purpose was to do that. And then for me to be able to teach geography and culture, cultural type things to my students about people around the world. In the beginning of the year, I had four kids that got their license, and they were so excited to get their license, but then kind of sad because they could only really talk on a two-meter radio by themselves. So, um, and we really do the high-frequency stuff. You know, we talk, we try to make long-distance contacts, and they really need a general license for that to do it on their own. So my goal is, you know, to maybe have some of the kids be able to ultimately get their general license, um, but. Overall, in general, with all the kids, I, I just want to expose them to the hobby and to maybe get them thinking about how they could be successful in a job that may include some kind of electronics or engineering or something like that. Maybe it'll help shape the pathway of their future a little bit, you know. My name is David Collingham. My call is Kilo 3 Lima Papa. I'm an amateur radio operator. I live in Maryland now, but I started in Fontana, California. So we got together, we started by doing, supporting a, a park project, where it was a little uh, reading area and a garden. And the kids really excel with that. They develop a beautiful garden area. Then it moved on to flag projects. I'm heavily involved with amateur radio D expeditions. And with these D expeditions, the kids made flags, and I would take these on these different parts of the world. So I think they've probably been to about 15 or 20 countries so far with me. And from that, the kids had a very big interest. They said, well, wh why do you go to these places? And I said, well, I do it because I'm an amateur radio operator and I love going on exotic de expeditions. So they were all excited about it. I said, well, if you really have an interest, why don't I support with a radio station in the school? Now we're up to three radio stations in the school, three different antennas. We have a lot of electronic labs and stuff like that. And each time we're in our third year now, some of these students are in the third year. And the program is just progressing. It started with the kids working in the garden. Now they're learning electronics. We had four children pass the technician exam not too long ago. The beautiful thing was the teacher's growing with us too. She passed her tech, passed her general class. ARRL sponsored her program. They're succeeding very nicely. It starts off by saying CQ, CQ. This is Zulu Lima 4 Alpha Hotel. Zulu Lima 4 Alpha Hotel. Zulu Lima 4 Alpha Hotel. Good job. Great job. What do you got here? Come on, buddy. Let's get it right. Zulu. You're just missing one. You're doing a great job. Sen. CQ, this is K6 DG, kilowatt 6 Delta Golf Echo, calling CQ and waiting for a call. CQ, this is K6 DG, kilowatt 6 Delta Golf Echo, calling CQ and waiting for a call. It's very nice to hear you on the band. 
I want to wish you all the best and kudos and uh, congrats to your Elmer there that's helping you out. We really appreciate you guys getting on the air. And perhaps we'll get to hear from you again very, very soon. Uh, November the pop up Quebec, head through CQ, and I'm actually 20 miles north of downtown Denver. Uh, here you're in elementary school in Fontana. I know exactly where you're at, so I have a brother that lives in Fontana. So you have an In-N-Out hamburger place there in Fontana, which I like. So I'm here in Colorado. You copy? November 9, Juliet Alpha. November 9. November 9, Juliet Alpha. This is? This is K6DGE. Give me your name. My name is Matthew. My age is nine. My QT age is Dorothy Grant Elementary School in Fontana, California. The report is five nine. So how do you copy? And uh, Matthew, I copy five nine as well. My QT age is Kirkland, Washington, and my name is Ray Romeo Alpha Yankee. Do you copy? November 5, Zulu Victory This is K6DG. This is K6DG. I didn't get your name. Could you repeat your name, please? I didn't get your name. Can you repeat your name, please? Uh, are the other kids having a good time, as good of a time as you are? Yes, I think so. We've made already four contacts before you. This is our fifth today. Um, I turned the antenna a little bit so I can hear you, but you're sounding good around that range. Uh, we're just sitting here uh, skinning an alligator, about to make some uh, alligator jambalaya. <laughs> Tell them you had lunch too. You just had lunch. Okay. I just had lunch too. I'm Paul Ewing. My call sign is N6PSE. I'm one of the volunteer examiners and also the mentors for the Dorothy Grant Elementary School Club radio station. My good friend uh, Dave Collingham, K3LP, is uh, the trustee of the uh, club amateur radio station here at Dorothy Grant Elementary and he encouraged me to become a volunteer examiner and to assist him in the twice yearly uh, testing process that goes on here at Dorothy Grant Elementary. These students are very, very intelligent, very passionate about amateur radio, and I would like to assist them and mentor them so that they can all be successful in their uh, pursuits of uh, amateur radio and whatever else they'd like to do with their lives. They're great children here. I'm Arnie Schatz, N6HC. We're having a lot of fun with the kids, and the kids are having a lot of fun with us. Uh, we've uh, operated on the uh, radio and made uh, uh, lots of contacts, and uh, we've also had the opportunity to administer uh, the FCC uh, technician and general class uh, licenses uh, for uh, the radio club members. Uh, my goal is to hopefully get all of them licensed at some point in time and be able to work them on the air from my own station. We've been chosen by NASA as one of the schools who get to participate in the ARIS program which is communicating with the astronauts via ham radio. Um, right now we're not exactly sure when that's going to happen but um, so far it's tentative tentatively scheduled for the last week in August of this next year. So we're hoping to start our school, our school year out with, um, you know, some teaching about space and life on the ISS and getting to make contact via ham radio with the astronauts.